Oh, hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgie and I am the Honest Vocal Coach. Before we dive in, I can't play the entirety of the clips due to copyright, but I do watch the entire thing. I just chop it down so you guys get my opinion. If you want to watch all of the clips in full, feel free to go to the Eurovision YouTube. Oh, right, so Oli. Oli's beginning this uh, big five and also Sweden. There's been a lot of comments yesterday on TikTok and all over the place saying it's too sexy. Now, I'm not going to get massively into this conversation, but I have to point out, what are you going to say about the female entries then? It's very sexy from them. It really is. So just because it's Oli, does that make a difference? Can't the guys be sexy as well as the females? I, d I don't know. There just seems to be a bit of a double standard going on. This doesn't offend me at all. It's a good performance. I think he's doing a really good job for the UK. And I think the set is great. Slightly concerned that it is showers. It's like showers and um, this is a boxing ring thing, which just, I don't know. That, that grates on me a little bit. But let's watch. That's so cool that they're hung upside down. It looks super effective, doesn't it? So is this the point? Oh, blimey, actually. Oh, hang on. Um, Is the cameraman upside down here? I think so. So we've got men on top of one another in the... Okay, I see what you're saying. There is some sauce in us here. What if they all got the tongues out like meh? What's that about? Oh, hang on. Hang on. This is a bit close to the edge actually now, isn't it? It is a little bit... Uh, yeah. From what I've just said at the beginning, just let's just sort of rewind a bit. Uh it is going out after nine o'clock though, isn't it? After the watershed. That is way saucier than I realised. Oh my goodness. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's after the watershed. It's okay. Right, so Germany up next. Someone in the comments said yeah, there may only be a chair on stage, but it was a very expensive chair. <laughs> but I think we've got some kind of fire pit as well. I like this song. It's good. He's got a good vocal. It's kind of gruff. There's like um, a real kind of feel to him. Uh, very Louis Capaldi and Rag and Bowman and all of that kind of vocal. I don't see it doing all that well yet, though it's... Is it Eurovision enough? Always oh, in a room as well. Looks kind of cool. There's a lot of flames being used in this one. Okay, one of my faves. I don't know why I love this so much. It's just such a bop and the dance routine. It's just got me. Right, let's listen to these live vocals. Good it hurts. But, you know, they're not English. They are Norwegian, I think. But they're performing for Sweden. People do have issues with this. I don't. I don't think this is an issue. Um, the fact that they're Norwegian and they're doing uh, the Sweden entry, it don't bother me. I mean, we had Gina G. She's Australian, I think. And she did the UK. So, I don't know. It uh, doesn't really bother me. Coming across really well, good vocals. They've got very good stamina to be able to dance and sing to that uh, quality. It's awesome. I love that one. Ooh, France. Okay, be nice to see the camera angle for this one because it is a little bit dramatic. Je Tu 
toujours la même fin qui recommence, tu n'entends pas ma peine, on en fait quoi That's so effective, look how far away from the mic he is, it's brilliant Oh Spain, Spain, it's not doing it for me now, I liked it when I first watched it but she just doesn't have enough energy and enough oomph and fire behind her. D uh, give it some. Is she saving it for the final? I do hope so. Notice they're not showing the bottom bit. They're saving that for the grand final. She just doesn't have it for me. There's no charisma, there's no oomph. Oh, I've not heard this yet. Well, I have heard it, but I've not heard it actually on stage. Oh, we changed costumes again. Yes, they have. Okay. So in the last one, they had like white silver swirls. Now no swirls. It's just black now. Did they not like that? I kind of thought it looked awesome. And apparently it was to do with copyright that we didn't get to hear the audio on TikTok. <laughs> Lots of gasping in between the lines. <laughs> Not ideal for the boys. <laughs> yeah, definite costume change. It was definitely black and silver before. I did read somewhere that I think it was a comment that said it was too bright and it needed to darken down so you got a better effect of this performance. Maybe they heard it and they decided to do that. Oh, is that it? Yep, that's it. That's all we're getting. So that's the big five and Sweden. Now the next video from me is going to be the recap to the actual finals, which will be on Wednesday and Sunday. I will be watching them hooked to my television. I'll be making loads of notes. Feel free to join me in the recaps and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. Bye loves.